Hey everyone, I hope everyone is great and having a great weekend. Today we'll be covering simple random sampling. Here in these lectures, I'm planning to cover the entire syllabus of sampling theory. It is important for your curriculum, it is important for competitive examination. We will be doing a lot of theoretical part, we will be doing a lot of questions. We'll start with simple random sampling. Now, simple random sampling is a method of selecting n units from a population of n units such that every unit has an equal probability of selection. Which is the reciprocal of the number of available units in the population. Now, under simple random sampling, we have two types. One is without replacement and one is with replacement. In simple random sampling without replacement, units once selected are placed back in the population. However, in simple random sampling with replacement, units once selected are placed back and can be chosen again. Now, Let's understand a few properties. 1. Probability of drawing any unit at any draw equals to 1 by n. 2nd. There are n to the bar n possible samples or clusters where each sample has a probability 1 by n to the bar n of getting selected. Third property, total number of simple random samples with replacement, ignoring order, is n plus 1 minus 1, C, N. Now, we will understand three major concepts. Number 1, if a sample of size n is selected by SRSWOR, then Total number of possible samples of size n, ignoring order, equals to n c n. Hence, probability of choosing any sample equals to 1 upon n c n. Now, we shall prove it. We know that probability of selecting any given n units in succession in specific order is 1 upon n into 1 upon n minus n and so on till 1 upon n minus n plus 1. Now, upon simplification, we will get n minus n factorial upon n factorial. Now, total number of such orders is n factorial. Hence, probability of selecting a sample of n specified units is n minus n factorial upon n factorial summation of it n factorial times which will be equal to 1 upon n c n. In case of simple random sampling with replacement, total number of possible samples equals to n to the power n. Hence, probability of drawing a sample equals to 1 upon n to the power n and total number of ordered samples is n p n. Second important concept, probability that a particular unit is included in the sample is probability that either it is selected in first draw or it is not selected in first draw and it is selected in second draw and then probability that the unit is not selected in first draw, second draw and so on but it is selected in an draw, which gives us the following probability. Upon simplification, we get that 
probability of a particular unit being included in the sample that is inclusion probability is equal to small n upon capital N. Now probability of a unit getting selected at Rx draw. Here we notice that the draw of selection is also specified. Now probability that a unit is selected at Rx draw is equal to probability that the unit is not selected in first draw, not selected at second draw and so on till probability that the unit is not selected at R minus 1 at draw. Notice that the unit has to be selected at R at draw. So every draw before that will be a failure. Calculating this probability. Upon simplification, it gives that the probability of a unit getting selected at R at draw is equal to 1 by n. Covering a quick example, suppose we have the population size as 8 and sample size as 5. Then total number of possible samples is 8C5. Two most popular method of selecting a sample are lottery system and random number tables. Now let's cover some notations real quick. We have the population size as capital N. The sample size is represented as small n. Y is the characteristic under study. Y1, Y2, capital YN are the units in the population. And small Y1, Y2, YN are the units in the sample. Now we will understand some population and sample features. Capital Y is the sum of all the units in the population y bar is the mean of all the units in the population mean square is represented as 1 upon n minus 1 summation y n minus y bar whole square sigma square is 1 upon n summation i goes from 1 to n by i minus y bar whole square talking about sample y is the sum of all units y bar is the mean of all units s square is 1 upon n minus 1 summation of y i minus y bar whole square now we will understand what is sampling fraction and FPC. Small n upon capital N is represented as F which is sampling fraction and 1 minus small n upon capital N is finite population correction. FPC is responsible for changing variance of y bar when sample is drawn from finite population in comparison to an infinite population. We will understand a few cases. Case 1. Suppose n is very large. Then f tends to 0 and fpc tends to 1. Second case. When n is very small as compared to n. Then again f tends to 0 and fpc tends to 1. Case 3rd. Suppose n tends to infinity. Then n minus 1 is approximately equal to n. Please note that ignoring FPC results in overestimation of variance of y bar. Now having understood all the notation and terminology, we will move on to estimating the population mean. Theorem 1. Simple random sampling without replacement. Here sample mean is an unbiased estimator of population mean. And here is the proof. Secondly, even for SRSWR, that is with replacement, the sample mean is an unbiased estimator of population mean. 